I was very lucky because my mother loved to travel and she was sort of, let's go. I've heard about this festival in Tunisia and the Sahara that's really interesting, camels, let's go. <laughs> it can never be underestimated, the power of travel and what it does even for a very young child. Things just seep in through the skin, into the cells, a memory of a place and a feeling. It didn't start with a kind of desire to make jewelry at all. I never, never thought that's what I would do. But it was an interest in peoples and cultures and heritage and tradition and how people hold on to things and what they mean. In a kind of very disrupted world we live in, it's sort of oddly things hold a lot of power and meaning. Once a month, I'm going somewhere quite far, <laughs> quite far as in um, between India or um, the Middle East or Southeast Asia or Latin America. Basically what I do is I, I conceive of designs inspired by local traditions. So I get there, we go to the workshop, we sit on the floor, we have tea, we talk. And the conversation will be where I will show them um, the root of my inspiration for a particular collection. Someone will run out to the local stone market and he'll come back with sacks of rocks and we'll go through the rocks and find stones that we feel would be right for the collection. It's a very sort of simple thing to do. You work with artisans to create something that's drawing on what they do traditionally, what they do well, and they know how to do it. And if you can kind of open up a market for them where they can continue selling, it means they'll be able to hire young people to do the work. It means the stories continue to get passed down. It means, it means that skill is going to survive. The hand of the artisan who's making something is part of the piece. It's like, you know, you may not know Javier and you may not know this mine and the Andes and the landscapes and the animals, but you kind of feel something, you know, it's like his hand is in there and the, the mountains are in there and his story's in there. The motivation is to employ, train, employ, um, provide livelihoods because it might just be we have family to feed and there's just, there's no jobs. So it's really important that they have a place to work and get paid. So the, the sort of pressure to get the design right is, so it sells, is huge. It's like, gulp. <laughs> Finding and, and channeling to markets where there's appreciation and you can tell their story. That's what I just started doing over 20 years ago and just carried on. So. <laughs>